Sinisa. Sinisa. We got to make room for the belts here. Sinisa. You got enough belts? Okay. Do, does this make it better? You feel better now? Because you were really upset coming into this. I feel better. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm very happy. It's something that I've been wanting for a long time. We're coming undisputed. And um, it's finally, it finally happened and I accomplished my dreams and I'm just beyond overwhelmed and, and happy. What was the difference in this fight? Um, the difference in this fight, um, I mean, I knew she was going to come in and be aggressive like she always is, but I knew that my style and everything that I was going to do to take away from what she does best, and that's exactly what I did tonight. Took away her right hand. At what, yes. You took away her right hand. At what point did you feel that right hand wasn't going to be the difference tonight? You know, I started kind of, kind of late because it's been eight months since I've been out of the ring, so I did feel the rust a little bit, but I knew I would take away that right hand with my defense and my footwork. Hey, listen, this fight was deeply personal to you with Gloria, with Golden Boy. Do you still feel like that? Is it, does it go away with all these, geez, all these belts you got? You know, or is it still there? I'm just, I'm very competitive and I want to be the best, you know. In this training camp, it was, there was days where it was difficult for me to get up and go to the gym because my body was hurting, my back was hurting, my hand was hurting, but I'm a champion and that's what I do. I, I, I push through it because I want to be great. Listen, it was a spirited battle. It, it, it certainly was a close fight. But what do you have to say? What do you think of Yocasta Valle in your heart now? I mean, I've always thought that she's a tough, a tough, a tough woman, you know? She goes into every fight and she gives it her all. But I'm not those opponents that she's faced. I'm super bad. There's a difference. Congratulations. You really are a trailblazer and you deserve to be on the speeder. Really well done. Gabe, David Yocasta. Yocasta. Okay. Where are we going to go here? All right. Did you feel that the decision was just? No, la gente la que decide. Eso es lo que me queda satisfecha. Gracias, Latinoamérica. Gracias a todos por apoyarme. Eso es lo que me mantiene más satisfecha. No, the people decided that, and the people have shown, and that's what maintains me satisfied. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to all the people. That makes, maintains me satisfied. Gloria told me she thought the headbutt was intentional early on. Do you feel that way? Sí, ella lo hizo intencional. Sentí cuando ella me dio el cabezazo en el primer round. Eh, pero bueno, ya me ha pasado y tuve que luchar con eso durante nueve asaltos. Yes, I did feel that it was intentional. I felt that she did that coming towards me in the first round, but I had to struggle through that for the rest of the nine rounds. Gloria, this has been cast as a deeply personal fight in, in some respects between you and Sinisa. How do you feel about Sinisa right now, and who do you think won the fight? First of all, I'm a professional. I'm a trainer. I love my fighters. If she took it that way, that's, that's okay. She lost in the ring. She lost tonight. She lost her people. She lost her TV. She lost half of her fans. She's not a professional person. She headbutted us intentionally. We want to run it back. We want to run it back. Give us the rematch. Don't be afraid. Do you think she'll do that? I doubt it. I doubt it. She had no defense today. She had no footwork. All, all respect, Gloria. I had her winning the fight by about four or five rounds, and I, I thought I was pretty down the middle. It's a ten. It's a ten-round fight. She lost four. She won four rounds. What happened to the other six? Gloria, thank you very much. Yocasta, thank you very much.